lovelies welcome back again to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Adadichi please do subscribe to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always tuning back in um so today is the 24th of december and i just decided to come on here and share with you guys the lessons that i've learned in the year 2021 and I would like to say that 2021 has been a year of learning and unlearning for me yes this year is that year that i had to learn and unlearn a lot of things um but amongst all i just decided to come on here and share five would i say the major things so without us so much talking let's just dive right into the video <music> first lessons I learned in the year 2021 is that I should live my life for me yes live my life for me I know it might sound um, somehow it might sound crazy to some people but then I would say that I'm that child <laughs> yes let me use the word child I would say that I'm that child that um, grew up living my life for everybody around me but myself um, probably I would say Part of it, my mom contributed to part of it. I'm not even going to lie. Um, growing up for me, I watched my, my life. My mom basically lived her life for everybody around her, and I feel like it's something she does even up until now. But I woke up one morning this year and I just realized that I'm not happy, not because anything was wrong with me, but I just realized that something was off like something was not just normal for me because. I live my life trying to make everybody around me, family, friends, neighbors, basically classmates. I just live my life trying to make everybody happy, trying to please everyone. But then this year was the year that I realized that I'm honestly not ice cream. Like <laughs> everybody must not like me. Everybody must not like what I do. Everybody must not support what I do, you know. So this year, I decided that I was going to live my life for me. I was going to do me. I was not going to allow pressure coming from friends, family members, and all of those stuff. Like this year is that year that I really said, okay, Ada, just look at your life. What are your old principles? Do these things matter? If Jesus should come now, all of these things, will they matter to you? This year is that year that really got me thinking about the way I've been living my life, trying to please everybody around me but myself. Um, and one of the reasons why I reflected on this this year was because at some point of my life this year, it was almost like um, I almost fell into depression. Yes, depression is real. <laughs> Before I used to be like, oh, people say they are depressed to the point of wanting to take their life. But this year is that year that I really got very close. I got this close to depression you know at some point i was always crying every day that i wanted to go back home and see my mom you know like a baby so um let me not deviate so much back to what i was saying you know um people kind of like i kind of like tied my happiness around people around other people and i just found out that sometimes most times not even sometimes a lot of times i'm not happy not because something is really making me sad but because something is making the next person the person next to me sad and i'm not just um what's it called and i'm not just happy and you guys don't get me wrong i'm not trying to say that i don't um share in people's pain grief with them when um is necessary or when it's needed but i don't even know how to explain it but it's just almost like i just tie my happiness i just tie what i should look like around what people think and this will take me to the next big lesson that i learned in the year 2021 is going to be not seeking validation from people yes for the longest of time if there's any word like that i always try to know what people's opinion count and all of those stuff so 2021 is that year for me that i came to realize that my validation should not um, be dependent on people's opinion because I realized that that thing was always it was almost messing me up it was driving me insane because um, even this whole YouTube thing um, a lot of family members supported me when I wanted to start when I started talking about I've been talking about um, starting YouTube since the beginning of 2020 and some people supported me but then I realized that a lot of people had stuff to say about it kind of like allow 
that lie, their own opinion, what they think of me, the way they think I should look, the way they think I should dress. As a matter of fact, at the beginning of this year, I went into an argument with someone and someone very special to me, someone I consider very dear to my heart, and the person made this statement that got me thinking. In fact, it broke me because it was almost like I was doing this thing to make you happy, I was doing this thing to please you, but all of a sudden you just turn around and just trying to tell me that i'm a fool in fact this is what it looks like this person just looked at me in the eye and said that okay you're a fool for doing these things and you know like this year i really learned and shout out to my elder brother there was something my elder brother told me at the beginning of the year that really helped me um we went into this conversation and he kind of like told me about um the advice people's opinion he said something he said that in life most times when people talk to you give you advice of, of all of these stuff you don't really need up to five percent of what they've said to you you don't really need to just listen to them process it pick the one you feel like you can pick and discard the one that you feel like is not necessary you know so this year is the year that i finally broke out of always wanting to be validated always wanting um to listen or to know people's opinion about myself trying to do things that okay is generally accepted by everybody this year is the year that i broke up i don't know where i was. i'm a very emotional person i don't want to be emotional in this video because to be honest like the way i'm even saying it, it's just coming natural so this year is the year that i really had to learn that people's opinion does not really count in my life nothing that 2021 taught me is that unforgiveness keeps you in a box <laughs> yeah unforgiveness keeps you in a box um i'm not even going to come here and pretend to be perfect i'm that one person that most times when people offend me especially people that I really dear to my heart people I love so much when they offend me you know this saying of I can forgive you but I cannot forget I don't even know but I feel like okay I have forgiven this person but I can't forget what this person has done to me that statement to me is a lie I've forgiven you but I can't forget that statement is it's just somehow what I now realize that that statement did to me was actually I might try to forget for a while but in actual sense, I've not really forgiven you, you know? This year was that year that I forgave someone that I never thought I would ever forgive in my entire life. And it was just like a relief for me. Um, this year, I realized that not forgiving people just keeps you in a box. It will not even allow you to see opportunities. I realized that I began to make me stereotype other people. So just in case you're watching and... You are also finding it very difficult to forgive people, you know. I feel like it's something you can do. Just pray to God about it. It was something that I was very intentional about. From the beginning of the year, I kept praying to God about it. It was one of the things that I told God that I had to change this year, learning to forgive people. And then um, I would like to add that God really taught me forgiveness in a hard way. Um, a lot of things happened this year still. And one of the things God taught me this year is to learn to forgive people with or without an apology so one of the biggest things i would even say i learned in this whole forgiveness aspect this year is the fact that whether or not you tender me an apology i will just tender the apology i need to myself and just move on and just forgive you because i mean i don't want to be living in bondage because of um people's mistake and now the next lesson i learned in the year 2021 hmm, is that i can't control the way people treat me yes i cannot control the way people treat me you know i used to most times i used to just be wondering that oh why is this person treating me like this why don't they like me and am i a bad person you know i'm always constantly trying to make people see reasons why they should treat me right you know because i used to feel like okay i'm not doing anything wrong so why are you treating me this way i'm trying to control how people should treat me how people to, should see me and i didn't realize how much that how much of a burden that was to me until this year in fact it was um during the time of i think either before my birthday or after my birthday i can't quite remember now because like i went into a very deep thought and i came to realize that 
I'm beginning to let people's wrong choices like get to me. I'm beginning to make people let people's wrong choices affect the way I am because I realized what that did to me. It, it was beginning to make me change. It was beginning to make me become should I say a bad person because of people's wrong choices because because of people just chose not to see the good in you or people just feel like they can treat you the way they like and of um to go away like they can treat you the way they like and just go scot free and nothing can happen and you cannot do anything like i just realized that it made me unnecessarily emotional you know i'm always angry my moods were always all over the place i'm thinking of okay why is this person like this why is this person acting this way do but you're supposed to be acting this way to me trying like that's a whole lot of work trying to change people i feel like that's even trying to change people because that's it trying to change people i just realized this year that i don't have control over the way people treat me my own part is just play the part of being the good person that i want to be play the part of being an amazing person that i want to be to those people and I don't even care about how they treat me in return you know that's something that my mom has constantly been trying to teach me but for some reasons i did not learn from her so this year it was something i had to learn by myself because growing up for me and my siblings i knew a lot of times so i would tell my mom like why are you not angry at this person why are you not this why are you not that and she would be like people's choices are not going to change the amazing woman that she is and you know most times i didn't get it i used to feel like my mom was a weak person for having like such an amazing heart like for being so that soft and that good i used to feel that was a weakness and for some reasons i was always telling myself that oh i don't want to be like that i don't want to be like that you know but this year is the year that i realized that if you keep trying to control how people treat you you will just end up becoming a shadow of yourself and in fact this year i was i had a conversation with my friend during this whole forgiveness thing it was a phase for me i'm not even going to lie during the phase of this whole forgiveness thing one day i went to my friend's place and i kind of like asked her i said do you think that forgiveness is underrated and i she was kind of like confused the next thing i just burst into tears i just stayed crying and we just got talking and i just kept asking her why is it that people offend you and <laughs> I just kept asking her that why is it that people offend you and for some reasons they just feel like they do not need to apologize to you in fact they feel like it's their right right to step on you they feel like it's their right to over um step their boundary when it has to do with you you know so this year i've learned that i cannot and do not and will never have control of the way people now moving on to my final lesson that I learned in the year 2021 is talking yes anybody that knows me know that I'm a very bubbly person any rooms like any room I come in I try to lighten it up you know I just try to radiate happiness peace and joy and whatnot but as much as I am always bubbly and talking what I realized this year was that I was not really talking I had problem this year, I will just lock myself up, talk to myself, cry, do very crazy things. <laughs> but this year, I just realized that I really needed to talk. And I don't even know why I wasn't talking, you know. I almost fell into depression, like I said. And then I started talking to my mom. Yes. Um, I got to this place where I realized that I have to talk. Um, it's okay not to always be strong. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be vulnerable Like you must not always be a superwoman all the time. Yes, this year taught me that this year taught me that it comes a time in your life that you really need to talk You really need to share Your problem or is it that is bothering you with people to kind of like help you find closure That was what the year 2021 taught me how to talk how to speak up I spoke to a lot of people you know like this year I was this close to depression I'm not even going to lie a lot of things this year my emotion was just a whole roller coaster of emotions like this year was one <laughs> this year was it was mad <laughs> so this 
brings me to the end of today's video share with me in the comment section what has the year 2021 taught you what have you learned from the year 2021 watch this video up until this point thank you so much i really appreciate all the love you guys are showing me if you've not subscribed please subscribe this subscription is free oh. please subscribe to the channel and um, happy new year to you guys already because i mean tomorrow this video will be going up probably 30th or 31st and maybe by the time some of you are seeing this video it's already january of 2022 so you guys happy new year have a blissful and amazing 2022 um keep staying safe keep being happy keep doing you keep living your life for you um don't always try to make your happiness dependent on other people you know just try to always find happiness in yourself and in what you do and until next time you guys keep staying safe i love you guys and i'll see you in another video